currently the 27th of August that I'm putting this in. The little fan is above the water and the rest of it is below. So we'll see how long it takes before something happens. So I guess the question is, why did I put a good looking board into a tub of water for 30 days? Science. Whenever working on consoles, electronics, whatever, you buy the broken one, at some point you are going to find one that is water damaged. And if you Google how to clean water damage off a electronic device, you will get a varying degree of different answers, whether it be isopropyl alcohol classic vinegar, water, dish soap. There's always some knobhead who's got to suggest right. So we're gonna test all the different theories and we're gonna see what works good, what doesn't work, and go from there. So in our little blue tub here is just some standard household vinegar. This is our 99% pure IPA. Some WD-40 specialist fast drying contact cleaner, and of course, rice. So after the 30 days was up, I wasn't actually happy with how damaged the board looked. So I went ahead and added my own extras to it per se. So this section here, we put some salty water, heavy on the salt. Over here, all that shininess there, that's oil. Now we're already fairly rusty and gross here, but I went and put some red wine vinegar there. I oiled, oiled up the fan as well. So there's some more oil over here. And I did dump extra water on it throughout the time it spent outside the container afterwards. Everything about this board now has a yellowy, rusty tinge to it. So we're gonna try and use these tools for the cleaning as well. Obviously rice gets thrown around a lot out there. Don't know why. People seem to think it works wonders. Let's put that to the test. A little bit of rice for ya. There we go. Let's wax some up there too. Let's let it do its magic. In the meantime, we'll carry on with some actual methods. So there's some vinegar. It's gone a little bit bubbly, so I'm gonna say there's still dish soap on my toothbrush. There's quite a clear difference of where we have scrubbed with that vinegar compared to uh, the unaffected area, uh, the unscrubbed areas. So I figured we'd have a look under the microscope here. We've got the rice on the side there for a scale, but you can see the clear difference on the right there where it's been scrubbed. On the left, you can see all that build up still. So it does work. There is some magic or some science to it. Let's keep going. Before we go any further, we do need to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay are the world leaders in PCB printing. Get easy quotes online and professional results every time you order with them. Whether it's a basic board or something more advanced, they can print it and deliver it worldwide. Now, if you're not into the PCB print and design, then that's fine as well, as they have a web store where you can get tools, toys, and merch. Just like this Raspberry Pi, which is such a versatile device. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. You can give the IPA a crack. You can absolutely tell the difference. It's pretty close to the vinegar, although you're better off using IPA because vinegar's not designed for a circuit board. Give the contact cleaner a crack. I mean, all three of those seem to do a decent job. Let's see how our rice fared. Ah, yep. As expected, bugger all. Let's give this down here a bit of a whirl. Might go the vinegar again first. Let's try our RPA. I've royally cooked that one.
It looks like someone's used my rag to wipe their ass. I feel like the IPA did a better job there. Under the scope we can see it's not quite where it needs to be. We'd have to run over it again, but it's definitely an improvement. Try the contact. Honestly, again, contact cleaner, IPA, vinegar. They all seem to do a fairly admirable job. Let's check in on our rice. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. That's that's done a cracker of a job. Sweet. Try a little Q-tip now. We'll focus on this area up here. Before, after. So again, you can see it. The, the cotton bud does a decent job too. I do find sometimes they get a little bit tattered at the end and leave little bits of cotton everywhere. You've seen better days though. Might be time to retire you back to the bathroom for more teeth brushing. I haven't done much down here in regards to our oil spill. It's helped dry the oil up a little bit. It did go a bit fluffy. So this is all trying to clean it by hand. Obviously, if you've got a you've got an ultrasonic cleaner, obviously you can dump the whole board in there, deionized water, demineralized water, whatever it is, you know, give that a, a bit of a clean. A bit better than trying to do it like this. I guess in regards to the whole rice thing, people say that, well, it's still wet because they think that the rice will absorb the water. If it's already water damaged, obviously rice doesn't do shit all, even if it's still wet. Rice doesn't do shit all. Look at that, look at that. That's not fixing shit. Don't do it. That fan's still good as new. Oiled up to perfection. Not quite a repair. Back to the repairs soon. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that button down below. Back on the repairs soon. And I'll see you in the next one.